You gotta rewire your brain, this stuff is junk. We were gonna like, drink some IPAs and play some like, rare horror. He's like the producer who did Conan, the Barbarian. Greek shipping guy, paying to make action movies happen. Yeah. And they're all like, very, very good. He's like a crazy German guy who, who got hired to do a bunch of video game adaptation movies. His biggest critics, he flew them all out for a boxing match. If you're going to intentionally ignore traditional framework type stuff in film, you have to have something that's like exquisitely good, better than that. That is cultural, aesthetic, spiritual junkyard. Watch what you like. Don't try to watch stuff that's uh, highfalutin or uh, intellectual on purpose. That stuff's oh, usually yeah. crap. Have you watched Tenet? Sucks. What is it? I was, it's the Christopher Nolan film. I was watching it and then 20 minutes in, the like badass criminal fixer person, like the, the super, the, the, Bond villain is an Indian woman. Ooh. And it's really? just f immediately. Is that, uh, what's his name? Yeah. Don't, Don't disrespect him like that. It's Robert Pattinson. Robert Pattinson. Excuse me. He's got a lift, though. If he's going to be walking around with a gun and stuff. This is one of the most alarming video clips I've ever seen. It's Gemini Man, which was shot at 60 FPS. Yeah. The, the movie, yeah. they, sh they shot it at 120 FPS and played it back at 120 FPS. In the theaters? In the theaters, which is far out. That's a cr That's like, crackhead idea. This feels like I'm watching a uh, State Farm commercial. Then the, you'd have to look this up. Sniper Will Smith, Gemini Man. It's far uh. One of the very best things to watch is the Jackie Chan Every Frame of Painting. So this series, Every Frame of Painting, is very good. Uh, it's it's over now. He stopped doing it, but um, it's very good. If you care about filmmaking, like if you care about filmmaking, you should watch this. You should really study it. I mean, there's so much. As far as um, you want to get good at filmmaking, there's so little actual stuff you can watch that's like training or or. Uh, criticism that's like valuable but this is this is great but um his his sort of now he's contrasting jackie chan to this sh jackie chan they, they didn't do cuts like in marvel movies they'll cut on the impact because the actor doesn't want to get accidentally hit in the face so you have this cut right here that's a split second cut on the foot going to the face here which is just it's like schiz it's schizophrenic this type of action right like the Scorpio, what, what, what the fuck even happened? And then you contrast that with this kind of yeah. stuff. I knew I was gonna have a hard path through life. Uh, RISD job fair yeah. for animation, film animation video, and they had all these guys come from like AAA game studios and toy companies and stuff, like recruiters basically, to, yeah. look, at, to look at portfolios. And they didn't like my stuff at all, and my stuff was good. And uh, there was one girl who did like a martial arts karate demonstration type thing as her animation. And a guy from like, a guy from some company that had no business being like a big company, he was like, um, I like it, but I'm thinking, what if he comes out and just has this like zen moment oh. and bows before doing his demonstration just to show his centeredness. Wait, so he said that? Yeah. Like, he was trying to figure out how to make this martial arts demonstration better. Uh, we got Creeper Weirdo with 25 bucks. Nice. Uh, hey, hey, Sam, I'm trying to get into more and better movies. Should I listen to people who use the word Kino unironically? I, well, I think the people that use uh, the word Kino, I think they generally have good taste. I think that's just like a young internet people call sh Kino when they don't know how to describe what they like about something or they're looking at... Uh, stills from drive but they generally have good good taste i would stay the hell away from anything made by a24 i was following a24 on instagram and i unfollowed them today because they're they have some new hitler movie yeah we, have you seen that we, we went over it on a stream i believe jonathan glazier i know what i'll do i'll show a german family <sighs> from london it says right here in London, German blonde-haired uh, children with vaguely sinister lighting and drone and ambient drone music from Envato Elements. Family Nazis. Family Nazi. Do you ever feel like you deserve the best in life? You're a Nazi. Family. Is that what that is? That what that is? I see teeth. Is that Holocaust stuff or is it 
slavery. Look at this. Oh, it looks. It just. I. I saw like three clips of it, and it's so hollow. But uh, all these movies, they look the same. These movies are such. I think the '90s and the early 2000s are the best era for films. '90s movies good. Anything pre 2008 that has good reviews, you're good. You're good to go. Norbit. But watch what you like. Don't try to Love don't try to one. don't try to watch stuff that's um, highfalutin or uh, intellectual on purpose. That stuff's oh, usually yeah. crap. I, I think I did see the sequel to Twin Peaks. If that's what the return is, I'm pretty sure it sucked. David Lynch is a little uh, nerd. Anybody who makes stuff that's confusing on purpose, and the the point is how confusing it is, is just the f nerd. I'm sure you prefer practical effects over CGI. Is there a film you regard as the best for that? Maybe old Japanese Godzilla movies? Lols. What do you like for practical effects? I like any I like it all. It doesn't yeah. even have to be good. I don't care if it's if it's good. Any any big budget thing from the 80s is guaranteed to please. You know, obviously Terminator Terminator 2 might be the the one or uh, 1982 Blade Runner. One of those two off the top off the top of my head, but anything Anything practical, it always looks it always looks good unless it's that trauma. Sh and if you're on that, if you like that trauma sh or you like that rockabilly uh, zombie grindhouse death core, if you're if you're any, into anything like that, get off it as fast as you possibly can. It's that's really ter terrible for. Uh, it's a cold classic though. It's terrible for your mind. It's terrible for your spirit. It's just junk. It's you're you're in a you're in a, a cultural junkyard. Jet and Sam, have you seen the Greasy Strangler? Uh, can you get the main character, Michael St. Michaels, on World Peace 2? The Greasy Strangler. What did he do, kill people? Why am I not surprised? He killed them and then he sucked them. St. Michaels is best known to pedophile for his work in the 80s cult curiosity, The Video Dead. Is this like a trauma films thing? Now, I don't know what this is and I don't want to delve into it, but I'm guessing... Oh, here he is with his latest victim. He's like, I got you! I don't know what this is, but this reminds me of this type of sh You know this stuff? Trauma films? No. I hate this. Is it like crap? Quir quirky horror? Schlock. Yes. Cult horror? Cult horror, quirky, schlock, garbage. That's so rockabilly. Toxie the Toxic Ooze Man? The Toxic Avenger? Yeah, it is so rockabilly. It's such crap. Junk. We were gonna like drink some IPAs and play some like rare horror. If, if you, you come by. like this stuff, you gotta rewire your brain. This stuff is junk. Oh, <laughs> brother. <laughs> Thankfully, most people don't know what I'm talking about. But that's the aesthetic equivalent of um, Tommy Wiseau's The Room, which will poison you if you watch it, even if you think you're smarter. Even if you think you're so smart that you can laugh at The Room. And <laughs> the acting's so bad. You are gay if you're watching that and enjoying it in any capacity. That is cultural, aesthetic, spiritual junkyard, garbage, you're dumpster diving, you're f***ing drinking uh, expired beer that you found outside a liquor store. Cease and desist. I'm sending you a cease and desist from my lawyer. Thought you were about to name drop him. From my, yeah, 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 yeah. Have you ever seen the movie Rampage? It's directed by uh, Juve Boll. Oh, he's, I think a, I have. he's like a crazy German guy who, who got hired to do a bunch of video game adaptation movies. But he's he's nuts. He uh, he's like obsessed with his own IMDb page, and he reads like negative comments and negative reviews of his movies. So what he did in the early two thousands is he like his biggest critics. He flew them all out, and then for a boxing match, he went he fought five people in one night, beat all of their asses. This guy's insane. He he made a movie called Rampage. The whole plot of Rampage is like. Okay, there's a guy and he has an art suit of armor. He's just going to start shooting people. It was crazy. It was like insane. Only like a crazy German guy could come up with it. Have you ever seen any of Panos Cosmatos' movies? If so, what do you think? I would imagine because of his name, his movies are just big fat people greased up with grapes. And like lots of goop that sounds like this. Slossing around and like, I don't know, women. Is he the one that does the horrifying satyrs? I mean, this guy, I hate right off the rip people that look like this. I fucking hate them. They all have the same personality. They have like fat kid personality. Oh yeah, I saw, I watched, I watched Mandy. I watched Beyond the Black Rainbow. So yeah, I've seen at least two of his films. I, I love Nick Cage, but uh, you know, it's, it's good on an airplane. They're not, these are not like films that you need to go watch right away. Beyond the Black, nah, you know what? Nah, conceptually, 
something happened in the execution that made these movies not cool. And I'm not, I'm not necessarily sure it's his fault. Like conceptually, stylistic, Beyond the Black Rainbow has a lot going for it, like stylistically and conceptually. It didn't click, and I don't know if it's if it's because of digital cameras or because it's the the something was not the budget was not there, or just because he didn't he didn't go all the way and come up with a cool ending or what. His father directed Tombstone. That's Ben's favorite movie that we talk about all the time. Yeah, so maybe this guy's cool. I think uh, if you like film, these are, you should definitely you could definitely watch these. But Mandy, even Mandy, like Mandy was really cool conceptually. It just didn't have, um, if what you're going to do in a film is not have like a traditional plot line where the good guy wins, the movie Back to the Future. Back to the Future is fantastic. It's like high art. It's fancy. It's unbelievable. The plot is just, the, plot's, it's, the plot is complex because it's got time travel in it. But as far as like high, low, high, low, like it's just super basic. The good guy, whatever, goes out and he goes in and he goes out. Meets the bad guy, he wins, he triumphs, whatever. Like that's the Back to the Future doesn't doesn't do any it doesn't it doesn't do anything um, in that in that sense plot wise innovative, and I, I I think that most things should not do that, and I think that there's a if you're going to step outside of that if you're going to intentionally ignore traditional framework type stuff in film you have to have something that's like extremely exquisitely good better than that. I rewatched um, Bloodsport. It's so great. It, it holds up. It's so great. Absolutely holds up. The, I think it's the music. Yeah. The music. We listened to it on the podcast. It's just so far out, so good. I like the state, the uh, the curved uh, stage, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, the, when they're training him? Yeah. Like, that was weird. I bet they found that. They were like, is this the set? Yeah. And that, like, no, like in the fight, like the Kumite oh, the yeah, fight yeah, itself. Yeah. Like, wow, that's like so weird that yeah. they. You know, uh, do you know, have you ever heard the name Dino De Laurentiis? No. He's like the producer who did Conan the Barbarian. Okay. And I think every I think the my impression I don't I'm not I know this is something that you you should know if you're into 80s movies but he I think he was like a Greek shipping guy who just had money paying to make action movies happen. Yeah. And they're all like very very good. Just because it would it would be like a guy with a lot of money and a strong opinion. Yeah. Like, no, I want him to be shot in the face and then fly backwards through the window. That's how it needs to be. It has to be that way. Like that type of opinion, you know? Populous. Where you, where you don't it's not like a filmmaker opinion. It's the type of opinion that you or me would have where it's like, no, he needs to go he needs to fly through the window. All the way down. I don't care about the camera where it's set up. I want him to fly backwards into a parked car. Yeah. And is de decapitated. Yeah, and his back's blown. How do you make him look like his back is broken? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Can you sh can you show a broken back on can the camera? Can we actually break his back? Like, is he would do it? <laughs> yeah. All right, good. Now we're getting somewhere. Yes. All right, good. Whew. God, why do we always got to iron this stuff out? <laughs> <laughs> Film makes so, is hard. Yeah, God, it's just like it's right there. It's a like, chop your finger. It's like a finger. <laughs> 14 grand chop the actress no cut it the actor's finger bring cut the crackheads in cut, <laughs> let him cut his fingers off i don't know make him say uh something <laughs> ah what are you gonna say <laughs> you're like you're like mugging up a bum you're like all right what are you you cr creep you cockroach all right you're gonna what do i say before i cut my finger off like you better do it busy or else i'm gonna do it and then you just yeah just paying 12 grand for, for bums to cut their fingers off yeah man no no test dummy just that we're gonna roll this car down a hill here we're gonna drive this car all right here's the stunt <laughs> there's no stunt anywhere it's just, it's just not a even a stunt it's not even a stunt <laughs> it's just a car at the top of a quarry like all right dude you give him like a football helmet <laughs> <laughs> you tell him to, you hand him a cinder block and tell him to put this on the gas pedal. 